was it when you were at bat? Oh, it was cold for sure. I, I'm, I'm from California, so I don't really play in long sleeves much, but I, I'm, I had to let it eat today. I can I can play in sleeves today. So. Where does this rank in terms of coldest games you've played in this uh, weekend, I'd say, as a whole? Uh, no, this is by far the coldest weekend I've ever played in, yeah. So did you get that first like ball in on the hands and you're sitting there like, well, this is really what it's supposed to feel like when I'm, I'm it's cold and I'm getting a ball in on my wrist? And yeah, bats ringing. no, yeah, for sure. You definitely feel it going throughout the hands. So, but yeah. You've gotten a chance to really shine there at shortstop with Kyle being out the last couple of days. Yeah. I mean, how, how are you feeling out there? I'm feeling comfortable. I, I just know I got guys with me that, and they give me the confidence to play that position. So it's just all around team, team ideal right there. Confidence at the plate, I, I assume, seven hits to start your career. Yeah. Seven seven games with a hit in a row. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's that? Uh, seven straight uh, games with a hit to start yeah. your career. Confidence is probably pretty high there, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. I just, I'm just getting pitches to drive, and that's all I'm focus, focusing on right now. Your approach at the po- plate right now, I mean, what, what are you looking to, to add on going forward though, from where you're, where you're getting your pitches? Um, really just don't get too swing happy right now. Just focus on pitches that I can drive. How does it feel to pick, the, pick up the sweep? Oh, phenomenal, phenomenal, yeah. But, you know, job's not done. We got a lot more games left, so we just need to keep tacking it on. Your first weekend at Goss, what was your uh, your experience with the fans here? Oh, it was amazing, and just to just to have them here, and especially my my uh, mom and my uncle here uh, from Ireland, it was it was amazing. So I'm just glad they got to witness it too. When you hit that home run, what were you looking for in that at bat? Um, really just a pitch I can drive. You know, I'm I don't try to do too much. I don't try to think like bomb. Just try and go yard, but just a pitch I can drive, and I happen to get one, and it left, and it was. It was, it was a good feeling for sure. Was that a breaking ball? Uh, no, it was a fastball. It was a fastball. Yeah, yeah. Eyes are the same. Thanks, man. No, yeah, for Thanks, sure. Mikey. Thanks, Mikey. No problem. Cool. So, 45 runs in three games. Feel like offensively, you probably got everything you wanted this weekend. Uh, not everything. Like I said uh, earlier, base running still got a lot to clean up. Today was much better um, guys working their way back on line drives uh, tagging up when we need to tag up and advancing yeah I'm talking about you <laughs> um, yeah, so we had a much better day on the base pass which makes me feel a lot more comfortable um, but early on you know we know there's gonna be a handful of things we got to fix and they're very receptive to it learning moments and um, all in all, you know, I think there's some, again, controlling the zone, drawing walks when need be, and putting good, good swings on uh, pitches in the middle of the plate. So, happy with it. Despite all the offense, though, do you see incremental improvements from day number one at the rate that you want to see it? Like you said, it, it's all out. been much better than day number one. Day number one was a, a, a tough one uh, to watch, you know, after as hard as these guys have prepared. Uh, but really bouncing back right out the chute. Uh, each game they've had a handful of things that they've been focusing on and showing those improvements out there, whether it's energy level or confidence and zone control, uh, playing defense, just communicating when we're out there. There's been a lot of little things um, that I think if we don't clean up can get us later on. But like what the guys have been doing coming out of the bullpen, um, you know, yesterday, eight of nine, uh, we got eight or nine of their hitters out uh, to lead off an inning, which is good. Get that first one and get the last one. And so happy with what the pitchers are doing and the pregame work. Um, and a lot of, I mean, we've seen a lot of young guys out there getting some playing time, which is great. Very talented young group. And guys like Gavin Turley, uh, you know, who's going out there and he's running hard on every, every ball he puts in play. He's doing really well on the defensive side, putting in early work. You usually don't see a lot of outfielders that want to get after it and own their craft like that. They just typically focus on hitting, but you know, a guy like Gavin, he's really working on every part of his game. What, what have you liked so much about how Mikey's filled in at short? I he did really well. I, yesterday he made a, a really tough backhand in the hole and guns it across. He's playing with big energy as well. Saw it on the base pass. Um, he's, he's swinging, he's defending. Uh, you know, done a good job at third base and also at short these last two days when Kyle was uh, under the weather. 
Um, and I think guys are feeding off it. So very excited. He's a, he's a great beef. He's doing a, a phenomenal job. What about offensively for Mikey with seven straight games with a hit to open his career? I mean, it's been pretty impressed with what he's brought to the plate. Yeah, he's a very tough out. You know, Gip gives him a hard time. There's not many pitches he doesn't like. He's going to get up there and be ready to hit. Um, and it's nice to see him just kind of become himself here. You know, anytime you're new to a program, um, you know, it can be a big adjustment. Uh, but, I mean, really everyone in the clubhouse loves him. Um, brings a lot of smiles to everyone's face. He doesn't talk a ton, but when he does, you know, it, it lightens the mood for the guys. And uh, older guy, physical, gets after it, um, you know, in the weight room and over here. So uh, just a great addition to this family.